Wayne, you've got you've got more fundraising campaigns coming on. Can you tell me what work with the A and E? Yes, Mike. What we uh, the latest uh, adventure for me is um, I. I joined uh, up with uh, the fundraising team of Basildon Hospital. Um, as you know, I'm committed to Basildon Hospital for a number of reasons. The first one and the, the biggest one mainly is that they saved my life, as you know. Um, so I'm trying to put something back. Now, the latest uh, 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 appeal that we're trying to do is called the Polly Parrot Appeal. And basically what it is, is we're trying to raise funding for a dedicated children's accident and emergency unit at the hospital. Now, they've already started building a new accident and emergency unit and refurbishing the old one but as part of that work then they're going to have or they're hoping to put in place uh, a dedicated separate children's A&E so children themselves can be seen without having to go through the whole procedure of being in with adults some of whom um, shall we say wouldn't uh, c can sometimes be the worst for wear so um, th th this is the, this is the general idea now basically what I want to do is we're trying to make this uh, a community appeal so we want as many people as possible to support us in whatever way they can. Now the idea is that if you wanted to do, say, a coffee morning or a uh, bring and buy sale or any particular um, idea uh, like that where you could raise some funding for us, to work, which will go towards the, the children's A&E, we would be more, more than grateful. And uh, that is basically what, what we're about. There are a number of other arms, obviously, to the appeal. Uh, we're looking at uh, corporate involvement with big businesses. Um, I myself am dealing with um, the schools initiative where we're trying to encourage schools uh, to get involved um, and do fundraising for us. But also part and parcel of the process is to get children's viewpoints on an A&E themselves. What kind of uh, things would they like to see there? Obviously not clinical equipment, but you know when children go to an A&E, it's not exactly the most exciting and wonderful of places to go to. Perhaps we can make the experience um, slightly better for them if we have the kind of um, uh, equipment and facilities available that will take their minds off um, the reason why they're there. So that's basically what we're about. Are people quite surprised that there isn't a children's A&E? Well, I, I, I personally was quite surprised because um, I think it is, it is becoming clearer now that really a general A&E for everybody is not, uh, is not the best idea, especially um, as uh, in, in, in a general A&E you do have people coming in who um, have, uh, shall we say, uh, quite severe problems other than um, their, their particular injuries so, and, and children really don't need to be in that kind of environment. So I think this is a really big move forward. Um, and it's something uh, that I think will, will be of huge benefit to our local community, both in Basildon and especially down here in Thurrock, because this is where my particular uh, base is, obviously, is Thurrock. And fundraising, I guess, within the present climate from the public sector is going to be quite a challenge, isn't it? it uh, fundraising at the moment is very, very difficult uh, because there's not a great deal of money out there. Um, people and what makes it worse, of course, is that there are lots and lots of charities and organisations who, who are after funding. What makes this different, I think, is that this is specific to our local community. It is very, very important for Thurrock people and for Basildon people, because it is actually the Basildon and Thurrock University Hospital, not just Basildon Hospital as it's known as. But we, but you know. Basildon Hospital or Basildon Thurrock Hospital has a, um, shall we say, um, a, a tainted reputation at the moment because of what has gone on in the past there. But I firmly believe that the hospital itself is, is, is outstanding in many, many aspects and the only aspects we hear about sometimes are the, 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 the poorer ones. But we will only get the hospital we deserve. And what we need to do as a community, as people ourselves, is to get involved, make sure that our hospital is working for us, but also to support them and put in as, as much as we can in order to help the doctors and nurses at that hospital to deliver the kind of service that we require.